Hey everyone, so I have this original Xbox power supply. Uh, dead, doesn't work, so once these are dead they're garbage. <laughs> if they're working you might be able to get like five bucks uh, after selling it and stuff. Unless you sell it locally maybe you'll get ten, fifteen. So I have this guy here, I'm going to open it up, see what's inside. It uh, should be similar to a uh, normal power supply, but the only difference is that this one should probably have a uh, fan inside. So let's open this guy up. See the, these rubber feet? This thing has some rubber feet, you remove them, and then you could get to the screw that's inside. It's kind of annoying that they did that, but there you go. So see, get the foot out and there's like this little plastic nub or something. I'm not sure if that's what you'd call it, but it kind of looks like a nub. There you go. So get the screws out. And then with access to that, you can open this guy up. So, this actually has quite a bit in it compared to a uh, normal power supply. It has quite a bit of aluminum. Obviously some cables. Tons of aluminum. A lot more than expected. So we've got a hunk of aluminum here. Let's test that out. Let's test that out. So, definitely aluminum but there's these little things here that you have to remove I'll just cut them out I won't lose that much aluminum so, scissors for metal there you go problem solved <laughs> So the, the steel part is being removed and you're keeping all the wonderful aluminum. So you can get a hunk of aluminum here, which uh, I haven't seen in other power supplies. So we have a bunch of garbage. There's this thing here, I'm curious to see what's in here. I think the fan is in here. So we got obviously low grade board here, but there's quite a bit of aluminum. Surprised. Let's get a bigger bit. That's not working. Let's do something else. We'll extract the screws using one of these guys here. They're very useful for stripped screws, but uh, it should work well in this case too. Get the aluminum out. Can't get to the screw. Oh, that's a first. <laughs> there you go. Finally, we got it. <laughs> the screw got a little stripped. So. 
these are super useful. It took me a while to, you know, buy them, to decide to buy them. There's all sorts of different ones on Amazon.com. These things, so valuable. <laughs> Such time savers. So you can see I took out the heat sinks that were on top, and there's still more heat sinks below. So there's quite a bit of aluminum, which is uh, kind of surprising. You have these weird bolts in the back, and the screw is like spinning. Let's try to do something here. Almost there. Wow. Let's say you can bust it. I guess I can just be violent and break it, but I'll try not to uh, smash things when I'm taking things apart. There you go. That's that. Let's see. Let's try to get in there. Wow. There you go. Finally got it. So, got another hunk of aluminum. Quite a bit. Then we have another guy over here. Through. Wow, this is messy. Should have cleaned, cleaned the heat sinks. My fingers are full of uh, thermal paste. A lot more difficult than I expected. <laughs> Hey, I can get the hunk of aluminum out. There you go. So we're left with this. We have some wires. Put in the wire, wire pile. Try to get as much out of this as possible since it's a low grade board. Some more wires here. We have some copper bearing motors. Pop these guys out. There you go. 
so you can unwind these and get all the copper out. I've done videos of that, but I think I'm just going to pop these in the uh, copper bearing motor pile. go there's two there's one more over here we're gonna get to Have it. There you go, got it. Another chunk for the copper bearing motor, and one more over here. And the rest is going to go in the low grade pile. And another one for the low grade. Got the green board and let's see here. Like I said, I know there's a fan somewhere here in here. And we're gonna get to it. See what's in these hidden compartments. Okay, nothing special here. I don't know why they had this little compartment here. But give me access to the cable, which and then should lead me to the fan. Like I thought, nice little fan. Fans, I usually cut the wires and put them with my copper ba bearing motors. There we go. So, so uh, what I have right now is a bunch of garbage that I'm going to throw out. We got low grade board, so it's about four ounces. So we're talking about pennies. <laughs> Usually I get, uh, I think they're like 15 cents or something like that on board sort. Got the aluminum, which is about four ounces. And I usually get around 60 cents, so this would be 60 uh, about 15 cents right here so we're up to about 30 cents of scrap and you have the copper bearing motors okay which is about six ounces and I usually get about 18 cents a pound which again is not much in this case, which is probably another five cents or so. So actually now we're about 30 cent mark. Then we have the wire scrap. I had this hunk of wire that was uh, part of it that I cut off. Plus all these little extra bits. So we're at eight ounces, so about half a pound. 
I usually get 80 cents a pound, so we're about 40. So, uh, depending on the day, on the market and everything, we're talking about 80 cents to about a buck worth of scrap on one of those old school uh, power supplies. Obviously, if you have a uh, a working one, don't scrap it because you can get about five uh, once you ship uh, and pay the fees online. Or, like I said, locally, if you can sell it locally, even better because then you'll be able to get around 10 to 15. It's a little hard to find people locally, at least for me. So, uh, that's pretty much it for the. the the video it was a nice quick one compared to my last one so like and subscribe if you guys have any comments great you know where to leave them if you have any suggestions I'm all ears if there's anything specific you want me to, you want me to scrap uh, let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do thanks for joining me and uh, we'll talk soon hey everyone so uh, here's another uh, video game uh, scrapping if you want to call it that uh, sorry about all the video game related stuff I just uh, received a ton of this stuff so um, never actually opened one of these old Xbox consoles so I'm not sure how to go about it uh, I tested it and um, drive is broken but I don't have any accessories or anything and just the working console it's not really worth much maybe 20 bucks without any accessories but that doesn't include the fees associated with selling it uh, like shipping and fees and whatnot um, can't really sell it locally so my only option is online and uh, fortunately online too much fees and obviously too many headaches uh, but like I said a working one is like 20 uh, this one is non-working so I'm not gonna bother with it really to change the drive is like ten dollars and if I sell it for 20 it's gonna to cost me another 10-15 in shipping so I'm losing money so, someone had also already opened it before, so let's see what uh, we can do here, let's see if we can open it quickly. Screws, got some hidden under the little tabs here, maybe something like this, these tabs I might be able to sell for a few bucks. I'd have to re I'd have to research it. I also think think there's a hard drive in here. I'm not sure how much valuable it might be. So we're talking about a uh, yeah, eight gigabyte hard drive, so alright, so plastic might be replace uh, sellable too. We'll see. I'm definitely gonna check it out if I could sell it, I'll uh, list it in the description of the video, Let's tell you how much I got. But some plastic here, garbage, or possibly garbage. So looks like something that's pretty simple, almost looks like a PC, so you have hard drive here, the hard drive is actually 200 gigabytes, so that's pretty good, uh, might actually be able to get some value for this. Then we have the broken DVD drive. Let's see what we can do here. This comes out somehow, this whole caddy system. system comes out and hard drive is held by two little screws here smaller 
bit. That was a lot easier. So this is actually not, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's not a SATA drive, it's an IDE drive, so really old school. Uh, sometimes these are actually worth more than the SATA just because they're starting to be harder and harder to find and people are still running old computers and servers, so this might be worth uh, something. Definitely gotta check it, and I know it works. But uh, just in, I'm also gonna test it to make sure it works. But when I turn on the Xbox, it went in here, it checked it, and everything. So definitely works. Let's get this uh, DVD drive that I know for sure doesn't work. And I think the people who had it before also changed the drive. It definitely doesn't do anything. Got some gold recovery here. Pins are definitely, at least, at least partially gold in this. So some ribbon cable, some gold, some more cable. Try to get this plastic off. There you go. Some clips. Plastic removed. Uh, DVD drive which definitely has gold probably sell the board uh, what is it? it's like about two dollar fifty per pound for the board the drive itself is just worth nothing this little faceplate might be worth a buck or two so now we have the actual motherboard which I'm assuming we can sell as a uh, as a motherboard, it's practically a PC motherboard, but uh, take it apart, see how it goes. There's also a power supply. Um, I'm not gonna take apart the parts yet, uh, take out components and everything, just in case we actually do have some value, because there's a power supply here, uh, I'm not sure if it's worth anything. Uh, uh, motherboard, I'll check, just to make sure. But, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be scrapped. Let's take out some of this cabling. There's one, two cables. Like I said, hopefully, some of this stuff is worth something. <laughs> Got little, little peripheral board. nothing so there you go we have the Xbox power supply so got the aluminum copper coils which you could either sell as copper bearing motor motors or if you break them up then remove the copper obviously copper is quite a bit quite a bit of aluminum some cable now let's take this motherboard out to see what it looks like Really curious to do some research. I don't think I got all the script. There's one more. There you go. So we got a motherboard here. See what uh, in one of these things. If there's a CPU that's removable. Might have some gold. Screwdriver. Oh. Heat 
everything's quite tight there. I'm gonna try not to remove it to uh, make sure I don't break it because if the motherboard is actually worth something, uh, I'm gonna, I don't want to break anything. What's this? This is something else. Let's see what's in this. Okay, so it does have a CPU in there, but it's not removable. So if the board ends up being scrap or garbage, uh, pop that guy out and uh, scrap it for gold. As it is right now, it's uh, stuck onto the motherboard, so we'll play around without when we get a chance. We got the motherboard, and then we have some other cables, uh, power button, uh, ports for the controllers, fan, nothing too much to it. So uh, that's probably what, uh, well, that is that is not probably, that's what's uh, in a Xbox. So there's a bit of a bit of value, probably like about a dollar here. Motherboard, some cable, copper bearing motors, heat sinks. So maybe there's about two dollars of scrap, uh, maybe three uh, max of scrap in a uh, regular uh, old school Xbox. Uh, and like I said, I'll look at the parts, see what I can figure out, and uh, let you guys know in the description. Oh, and also I just noticed it has tantalum monolithic quite a few xbox i've noticed puts quite a few uh, monolithic capacitors on their boards not sure why but uh, people who collect them xbox is definitely uh, one place to get the monolithic capacitors so uh, that's pretty much it uh, like subscribe if you have uh, any questions suggestions let me know put and uh, I'll try to keep on uh, putting up videos as often as I, as I could. Thanks very much. Hey everyone. So, this is my next uh, little project here. Uh, it is a uh, non-working PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys would be smart enough not to tear this apart just for the gold. Is, uh, the parts uh, are quite valuable and just selling it like this uh, would give you about 300 bucks but let's say you happen to fall on one that's been crushed by something really heavy or a car or something then you could scrap it for gold so let's uh, take this apart and see how everything works so this guy here he just slides open like that have a little hard drive here and you'll need uh, some uh, security torque uh, Torx uh, bits uh, and because they're pretty much everywhere this way so there's a few of these screws over here and uh, the funny thing is you could even sell this stuff uh, this plastic stuff uh, for quite a bit uh, if you look around so like I said the only way you should scrap one of these for gold and whatnot is if it's completely totally smashed. <laughs> That's that. And there's a few security tabs here. 
Sorry about the noise. So if this was something I would have personally bought at a retail store, uh, Best Buy or something, my warranty would just get voided. Because I just took out the... Uh, the warranty seals. It's that. So just to show you guys what I just did. There's one, two, three and four little screws here that are hidden behind these little tabs. And again there are secur uh, security uh, screws which Sony loves to use and everyone else hates so there's four of these on the back you'll pretty much notice them uh, especially the security ones uh, they have some writing on them uh, stating that if it's removed the, the warranty is over if you bought a PlayStation 4, you definitely have a warranty for at least a year. Since these are have been out less than a year, you have a warranty. Alright, so now we've got that out. And now this just pops out like that. You just pull, use like a little crack here. Just pull up and the cover just pops out. Put that on the side. Now we have a few more screws. So we got some uh, Phillips screws over here. Another one over here. Some fun security uh, torque screws again. A couple of those. Let's take that stuff out. Almost done here. Get those Phillips screws out. Now we're able to remove the power supply once I get it. There you go. So as you can see, we have the PlayStation 4 power supply. Already you can see some copper in there, some aluminum, some little wire here. But again, don't forget, if you get one of these and it's in good condition, even if it's not working, hold on to it because it's worth more than the scrap value, that's for sure. little Blu-ray drive cable out and the antenna the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna so we got a little piece of steel and a little piece of wire nothing too special 
Okay, let's get this Blu-ray drive out. There are three little small Phillips screws uh, over there. So remove that little piece of steel. And one little screw there. Let's just try to jimmy this. So there might be a little screw in there. screwdriver there you go that's why I wasn't coming out just found another little security screw over here that has to be removed we like hiding these security screws. Sony is notorious for that. So now, we just removed the Blu-ray drive. Have some ribbon with some gold right over there at the tips on each side. Got a little magnet here. Uh, I know the laser contains a little bit of gold. A little green board in here uh, might pass as peripheral. And there you go. And that's the Blu ray drive. Put that aside. And here we go. Here's another little, I guess, peripheral board. You definitely have, I don't know if you can see that, but you definitely have some gold over there. Some monolithic capacitors. I've talked about those in the past. They um, sell for quite a bit. I recently sold about 12 ounces of those for about 80 bucks. Uh, there's gold in this connector here gold in here you have some uh, IC chips that's looks good again some wire right so now let's get to the motherboard now you pop this top off Pretty much the same way you pop the other one off. There you go. Nice and easy. bit of trouble here. There we go. I'm getting it. Almost there. Ooh, there you go. Got that piece of plastic out. Now we're gonna get access to the motherboard. There's a few more 
security torque screws you got your little fan here heat sink here almost on the motherboard where most of uh, the supposed scrapping will be done but uh, I've mentioned don't scrap do not scrap this board <laughs> or anything on it until uh, you know it's not working So, we finally made it to the board. So, you can see the processor here. If you look in all these little crevices, it's a bunch of gold in here. Uh, again, you have those very nice big monolithic capacitors that you find on these uh, PlayStation motherboards. Get some nice IC chips. Some gold in the connectors here, HDMI, Ethernet, uh, little hard drive connection, some more gold there, some more gold in here. Overall, uh, quite a bit of valuable stuff, some more monolithic capacitors here. But like I said, it's working. Do not do anything to this. <laughs> So um, that's the teardown and uh, imaginary scrapping of this board. Uh, like I said, if you get one of these, unless it's completely totaled, run over by a car, smashed to bits, do not scrap it. Even if it's not working, it's worth two to three hundred bucks. So uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments. Uh, you can uh, check it out below and uh, I'll try to answer uh, and reply as soon as I can thanks for watching hey everyone so I have an old Xbox 360 over here uh, doesn't work everything's pretty much non-functioning on this uh, thing so uh, I'm gonna tear it apart and uh, show you guys what's in here if there's any gold or anything like that so we don't care about the condition of it so we'll just break things make it easy to go uh, through some of this stuff so those uh, tear off pretty easy obviously if you want to keep them to sell them you could do that too Sorry for the mess on my workstation, but uh, I've been really busy and haven't had a time to clean up. So, you open up these little tabs here. Pop off pretty easy. And just pull back and there you go. Let's unscrew these screws. So we have a bunch of these little torque screws uh, so you'll need uh, two types of bits uh, one for the bigger ones one for the smaller ones uh, this one looks to have previously been opened so uh, a bunch of screws are missing usually there's at least 10 of them more or less so by unscrewing these screws the top comes off
So, what we have here is we have the DVD drive. Uh, probably a little bit of gold. There's a small board in here. Uh, gold pins here. If you open up uh, the drive, we'll find the, that board and I'll show you uh, what's on there. I know the laser for a fact does have gold uh, in it. Uh, let's see. Almost done. Yep, should have charged my uh, drill before doing this. <laughs> In this guy, so we have a green board over here. In these connections here, we have some gold, 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 gold. You have little uh, IC chips. Other than that, there's a motor, small motor, actually two of them. So one small motor here, another one here, and then the laser, which has a little bit of more gold in there. Then we have the main piece with the motherboard take out this shroud here. So we have two fans, so copper bearing motors. We have the two heat sinks for some aluminum. This guy here has a nice chunk of copper at the, on the bottom. So when you take uh, one of these guys out, uh, the fins come off pretty easy. It took me not more than five minutes yesterday to take one apart. A nice chunk of copper there. Uh, this little guy here is interesting because it has quite a bit of gold. If you open up uh, this little protective shield here, you'll see there's plenty of uh, co uh, sorry, not copper, but gold here. There's a little bit of gold here. There's gold in here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's gold in there. Now on the motherboard itself, there's IC chips, uh, got a little bit of copper, definitely there's gold in the uh, USB ports here, definitely. Uh, there's gold in the connectors in the back, the video, audio connectors and whatnot. And uh, surprisingly there's quite a bit of uh, steel that you can scrap. So, uh, unlike the PlayStation, the Xbox 360, very simple to take apart. Obviously, I should always look at if uh, any of this stuff has some value, but I know for a fact none of this has any major value because it's all broken and doesn't work. So, that was my uh, quick video in regards to uh, the Xbox 360. If you guys need any help, any questions, let me know. Uh, if you have any suggestions let me know also. Uh, hopefully I'll be making another video soon. Uh, not sure uh, on what but uh, you guys will see uh, once it's up. Thanks for watching.